What is going on then guys, welcome to a new video. So recently then there's been quite a lot of new subscribers to the channel which is awesome. So I thought it'd be quite a nice time to do a video like this just to give you guys then an introduction into how I got involved in dropshipping and actually take you inside the back end of my Shopify store and show you then the first six months results and the actual products I sold then to do a little bit over $55,000 in sales. So that means that then there's not a lot more to say so let's get straight into it. What's going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while then you've probably heard of this store before, heard or seen me use it in previous examples in videos. Um, so this was the very first store that I ever ever started and it was called Shop Omnia. And if you don't know then Omnia is Latin for everything, that's kind of where I got the idea from. So it basically meant shop everything um, and it was the very first general store that I ever started. Um, it's not currently, I don't currently use it anymore. Um, but I do use it for YouTube videos then because it's nice to show you guys. A lot of you guys like seeing past results and actually seeing um, kind of like my successes and failures at the same time. Um, so if you look on the right side then, as you can see in the first six months um, from July to December, I did a little bit over £44,000. And if you can prefer that to US dollars then, as you can see, um, it's a little bit over $55,000. So just to run through the kind of months, month by month um, for you guys, just so you can kind of see how quickly you can actually scale things and give you guys an introduction then of how I got started. So it all started just over two years ago now. So if I take us back to the very first month, which was July 2016, I don't think I did anything in June. Um, tell a lie, so I did 30 quid in June. Um, and then July was kind of like the first month where I started seeing some um, significant results, if you like. So at that point, I had zero experience running a business, zero experience marketing. So the fact that people were coming onto a store that I'd built and spending money with me and trusting me as a legitimate business um, was quite exciting. So um, around this time then, I started watching Ty Lopez. I'm sure you guys have all heard of him. And he did a webinar with a guy called Adrian Morrison. And he still does stuff today on Shopify and dropshipping and I watched this two three hour webinar and the idea of being able to run a business then with a computer and an internet connection not having to hold stock there was no upfront um, like commitment in terms of cash um, was just awesome so um, I jumped straight in pretty much um, didn't care about products or anything just was so excited to get a store built um, and this was the very first store that I built then um, but I'm going to talk more about that later and this is actually live as well so if you guys are having trouble with designing your own stores then feel free to um, put this URL in um, and feel free to check it out and base your your store on this one if you like because as you can see it did the numbers so as basic as it looks then um, it did the job. So yeah, I was watching this guy then and the idea of dropshipping was awesome, got my store built and I just started experimenting with different products. I did a video on the very first few products that I tried that absolutely failed and the first winning product then, um, if we scroll down on the right, as you can see, was like these um, turquoise handmade charm bracelets. So I keep one around actually. So I've got one here then, I keep it around my desk just as kind of like a memento really, just to remind me where everything started. Um, and I sold quite a few of them. So this was pretty much the bulk of my revenue when I first started until I moved into a different product. So as you can see then in July, um, I did 357 pounds and it was made up of pretty much all these bracelets. And things from here on then started to, started to go pretty well. So if we have a look at August, August I did over triple what I did in the previous month so again you can imagine how excited I was at this point um, because a fat lot £1,100 a month was a lot of money to me at this point and as you can see as well it was still these turquoise bracelets nothing changed um, I was just starting to put more money into into ads and the results kept on coming so it just made sense to keep putting more money in essentially and this was 100% drop shipped as well one thing to note a lot of people are worried about the delivery times and worried about customers uh, wanting refunds etc but if you just keep an eye on the returns rate you can see it's quite low so yes long delivery times can be an issue and you can upset customers but in the grand scheme of things it's nothing that you should be worried about another thing worth mentioning then is 100 percent of this is from the uk um, at the time it didn't even strike me to consider other countries I don't know why I only stuck to the UK right now I do all four major UK countries and I do a little bit in others but I tend to just stick with the main four like that's a huge market and 
if you're going to have a winning product, then you're going to be able to put it in one of those countries. So um, if you're a beginner out there, then if you've got the budget as well, then I always recommend experimenting with those four different countries just because they are the big four and it gives you the best chance in a finding a market that responds well to your ads. Anyway, so going back to the numbers. So as you can see in August, then I did £1,100 and in September, I think I tripled it again, more or less. As you can see, I did uh, so nearly three and a half grand. So again, the excitement was building and things like this then are really good for your motivation because the more motivated you can be about something, then the more hours and more kind of torture you're willing to put yourself through to keep doing what you're doing. At this point then, I was working a nine to five. So I was getting up at say half six, at work for eight, back at half five, six. Um, I would usually go in the gym as soon as I get home from work. And then I'd be spending pretty much all night up until about two a.m. pretty much every single night I'm um, just doing this. Um and to live on three to like five hours sleep, it really didn't matter to me at the point. Like there'll be mornings sometimes where it'd be like really difficult to get out of bed. But like seeing the results come in, it was just enough motivation to make me think, do you know what? I don't really care. I'm just going to put myself through this because I knew I had something good going and I wanted to see where it was going to go or where it was essentially going to go or end up. Like the ultimate goal was always to quit my job. And this was the best thing I had going or, or kind of like the quickest route to achieving that goal, if you like, at the time. So um, working on three to five hours sleep, it didn't really bother me that much at the time. Um, just to show you guys the products as well, as you can see, it's still these bracelets. Uh, moving into October now, this is where things got a bit crazy. So uh, one to the 31st. Um, and as you can see, I more than tripled, completely exceeded it and did nearly 20,000 pounds in sales, which is about 25,000 US dollars. Um, and it was actually at the end of this month when I started working out how much money I actually made. Um, I decided to start writing my resignation letter, which was just an absolutely... Um, like amazing point really because that is I never dreamed of achieving it that quickly so when I did as you can imagine it was really exciting time um, and just to show you guys as well it was still these bracelets so it's still these little turquoise uh, plasticky elasticated bracelets with animal charms when it comes to choosing products then you really don't have to choose anything that amazing you just have to find a product that suits an audience um, and understand essentially what you're doing so you're advertising on Facebook I'm not going into too much detail because it's not the point of this video but just try and understand exactly what you're doing more than just on the surface level like delve deeper into things like facebook is a social platform people are not on there to buy things so you have to adjust so you have to pick your products based on that and adjust your marketing strategy um so anyway things were going really well in october i was still drop shipping at this point and as you can see then my returns rate was pretty minuscule to how much money i was bringing in like this less than one percent so don't be deterred then by the long delivery times um however at this point in time then um, I knew we were coming up to Christmas and the profit margins weren't great here because I was selling these little bracelet things for about five pound. Um, so I started looking at other products, ones with a bigger profit margin. Um, and in November, then this is when I actually decided to start selling LED dog colors. So if we move down into the product section, as you can see then, um, it's not just these green bracelets, it was majority LED dog colors. Now the reason then the revenue halved was because at this point in time, I realized that shipping from China to the UK people were going to start not receiving their orders before Christmas. And this was actually when I decided to start sourcing products in bulk for a couple of reasons, really. Number one, so I could sell right up to the very end of Christmas. You'll see that in a minute when you see my sales in December. And number two, then the profit margins just completely changed. Like, I believe it or not, I made more money in November only doing 10K in revenue than I did in October doing nearly 20K. And it's always good to be as efficient and profitable as, as possible for a business for VAT reasons. Um, and then anyway, moving into December then, I did pretty much the same numbers if I remember rightly. Um, so a little bit below 10 grand, even though I didn't sell from the 22nd afterwards. And that was purely because then that was the cutoff point for Christmas. I'd worked pretty hard at this point. So I kind of gave it to myself that I was just going to take Christmas off because um, this was the point as well. I worked for my job right up until the 21st it was um, or whatever the last working day was. So I just said to myself, right, I'm going to have a week or two weeks off. Um, and just enjoy Christmas and enjoy essentially what I'd created. So yeah, that's the first six months then. Just to show you guys January as well, because again, a lot of people have been asking me whether you can actually make money in January. Um, I did more in January, I believe, than I did in December. 
uh, once it's low. So yeah, as you can see, so I'll talk about a week, two weeks off, didn't start selling until January 6th, but as you can see, as long as you've got a product that fits the market, that fits the time of year, you can sell it all year round. It really doesn't matter what time you sell it. Um, and at this point as well, as you can see, it was still the LED dog colors. So here in the UK then, um, it was dark up until like nine, 10 o'clock at night. So it was just the ideal product for the ideal time of year. And then just to show you guys the payouts as well, because Shopify cottoned on pretty quickly to the fact that I was drop shipping. So they decided to hold some of my money for 90 days. Um, and where was it? It was somewhere towards the end of October, I think. If I just go back. The strategy that I, that I used was... Um, pretty much whatever Shopify paid out, that just stayed in my business account. And then PayPal wise, because the majority of my orders did come from PayPal, um, that was used to pay for my ads. And then whatever was left over, again, I just left in there to build up and up and up. Um, and then as you can see, so this payout here, 824 pounds, as you can imagine, that was quite a nice day. And that was because then Shopify cottoned on to the fact that I was dropshipping, decided to hold some funds. I think it was 10 or 20% um, and then paid it out at the end of the 90 days, uh, which was 824 pounds. So just to kind of show you guys that in case you're interested. Um, now, I'm not sure how long we've been recording for, but I'll just show you my website quickly. Again, it's still live, so feel free to go and check it out. Uh, base your websites on it. And as you can see, then it's nothing like crazy complicated. It's dead simple, like proper neutral colors, nothing like out of the order out of the ordinary, pretty simple, easy to use. Um, and there they are. Then this was the product page. Then as you can see, um, well, I did 20, 30 grand in sales. So this Facebook comment is no longer available. So what I did then was I had what tend to happen was people rather than coming back to my site and leaving reviews, they would um, actually go back to the post or go back to my page on Facebook then and leave a review on there. So I started um, integrating them into the product page and that really, really, really did me well actually. Started increasing my conversion rate quite a lot because people can see that it's real people leaving real reviews and they can actually click on the comment and it will take them to that post where they can see it as well. Um, so I recommend all you, um, that everybody actually does that. Something you actually implement in your stores because that really will help. Um, and then that pretty much is it guys. There's not a lot more to say. Um, any questions on this at all, uh, then obviously feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, now imagine a lot of people actually will probably ask why I don't use this store anymore. It's because I use this general store then to experiment with niches, with products, and I found two really good products within different niches then that worked really well. Um, so I decided to create niche stores in both those niches. Um, so I didn't really have like a, like a need for a general store. So I just stopped running it basically and decided to focus on those niche stores. And then later on, I did actually, I have actually got a general store right now, but I've moved away from these kind of like five, 10 pound products and selling more, not high ticket, but just more expensive, just because the profit margins, Facebook ads have got loads more expensive since I started. Um, so as a result, then I've just tried to sell more expensive products just so there is that margin in there. Um, now in terms of other things I can sell you, these are the apps and that I used. Um, again, nothing crazily, nothing like people want to overcomplicate things and the amount of questions I get, people asking for secrets, but there really is no secrets. There's just, there's three core fundamentals and you need a, like a half decent store, you need a half decent product and you need a half decent um, Facebook ad. That really is all there is to it. But once you get those three things correct then, um, then you can make like a significant amount of money. Um, so anyway, that being said, there's not a lot more to show you. Any questions at all, please feel free to either reach out. All the social media links are in the video description. Leave a comment down below. If you're still watching and you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet for videos every single other day um, on pretty much anything dropshipping related, then please do make sure you subscribe. So that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.